What is up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Good freaking morning. Today I'm gonna attempt to read my first three manga. Is it manga or mangas? No, manga is plural of manga, right? I don't know. My very first manga experience in 24 hours. Hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> So one of my friends lent me three Junji Ito books. I decided this is a good, good place to start for my manga knowledge, manga debut, manga exposure. <laughs> I don't know, but I've heard a lot of good things about Junji Ito. I have a couple friends who are literally like obsessed with his work and I know Books with Chloe loves him and it's the perfect time to read these spooky stories because it is September 30th. So October starts tomorrow. So excited. These three books, Shame, no, Shame, Smashed, Love Sickness, and Shiver are on my September TBR. So gotta knock them out within the next 24 hours. I know nothing about any of them. Okay, this is gonna be my daily picture today because these covers are freaking stunning. If you didn't know, I post daily on Instagram. I've been doing it since 2014. Follow me on Instagram. Always linked down below. Anyway, we are kicking off this vlog at 8 a.m. It's Thursday. Day. It's already been a freaking day y'all let me tell you so I went to the gym at like 6 45. I you know had a good workout legs I threw my hoodie back on because it's a little chilly in the mornings now love it crisp fall air We love to see it got home. Okay. I'm like chilling before I want to go hop in the shower I'm on my phone talking to my girl Christina because it's her birthday today. So shout out to her Christina's chapters subscribe <laughs> And then I see something moving in my peripheral vision, okay, around this vicinity. Very close to my face, as you can see. I freak out. It's hairy, okay? I whisk it away. Whisk? I don't know what that motion is, but I like swat it away with my phone and it lands and dies for like 10 seconds. And it's a hairy ass caterpillar, y'all. I'll insert footage here of my Instagram stories of me in this situation. Hairy ass caterpillar on my fucking hoodie. It was so close to my face. It's moving. <gasps> oh my god. I don't want it. I don't know what to do with it. Help! Ew, it's so gross. Oh my god, I'm throwing up. I am throwing up. I hate it here. I hate it here. I need to get ready for work. I hate okay, y'all. I need your fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not how I wanted to start my morning, but we're doing it, 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 we're doing it. Hope y'all found that entertaining because I definitely did. I, had, I just had to share and it was traumatizing and I'm so glad I hadn't showered yet at that point because it felt so nice to just hop in there and like wash out all the distress, you know? <sighs> gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. it was so gross and I need to take my trash out because that bitch is not seeing the light of day any longer I have about like 20 minutes left before I have to leave for work so I think I'm gonna start this vlog off with his newest work which is Love Sickness. Again, I've never read manga, so I'm really excited about this. I mean, I'm also kind of not excited about trying to get used to the whole right to left thing. We'll see. I'm just obsessed with the colorway of this cover. Like, can we take a second? Hopefully I get through all three of these in the next 24 hours. That is the goal. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>
fucking kidding. Why? Why does there have to be a fucking rat in everything I read? Ugh. I'm intrigued though. Almost 200 pages in. I'm dragging, honestly. I took like an hour-ish long nap and I feel gross. I need a full meal in me still. I think I'm gonna make some soup. Jack and I are supposed to go to dinner in a couple hours, so I don't want to be too full. So I think I'm just gonna make some like canned soup to hold me over. And at some point, I'm gonna make that hot Cheeto mac and cheese that I bought with Jesse a few vlogs ago. Why does my face look so swollen right now? <laughs> I think I'm on like the fourth story. It's actually not that hard to get used to the whole like right to left thing I was actually very surprised at how quickly my eyes accustomed to the direction I should be doing other things, but I'm in bed. We're still hoping for the best though We're gonna hope to finish all three of these in the next 24 hours. What time did I start this? Oh shit I started at 8 a.m. Oh, it might have to be a little past. I definitely want to end this vlog before my sprints tomorrow and start like my first October vlog and everything so gotta grind I'm gonna go make my soup though. I'm kind of hungry. Okay, I'm 250 pages in. And there are some graphic ass illustrations in this. I picked up the camera because I literally just gasped and said, ew, <laughs> out loud. I mean, my friend said I would get nightmares from these books. We're just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> Hi, I changed my shirt because I was taking some Instagram photos. Just wanted to let y'all know the trigger warnings for this book. Trigger warnings for safe, safe harm, self-harm, suicide, and definitely like gaslighting and emotional manu- Gaslighting and manipulate- <gasps> Whoa, do I need more coffee or something? Cause I can't speak. Gaslighting and emotional manipulation what I was trying to say. It's actually kind of triggering because certain things in this book I've like personally gone through, which is like, like in terms of actually pretty much like all the triggers. So it's kind of difficult to read, but you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I just want to plow through the rest of this. It's 5 PM. I didn't realize it was going to take me this long, but I'm taking my sweet ass time. I'm also like trying to do some freelance marketing work at the same time. So Love that for me. Jack gets out of work at 6.30, so hopefully I can finish this before then, but I won't if I keep chit-chatting, so. <laughs> this is so fucked up, y'all. <laughs> I cannot. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even exaggerating. This shit is... I'm deceased. <laughs> okay, I'm on this story now called The Seance. Pray for me. <laughs> I'm dead. That's a mood right there. What a queen. <laughs> what the fuck that last story was it was like five pages long maybe less even and i mean if you know you know it involved poop and i was just like what the fuck am i reading but i finished my first manga experience ever i think i'm gonna give it four stars there were definitely stories i enjoyed more than others i mean that's how it goes for pretty much all story collections i feel like it's really hard to like every single story in a collection i think my favorite is the one i recorded of me saying like oh my god oh my god and then i laughed at the end of it it was called i think narumi's boyfriend or something hold on narumi's boyfriend was my favorite story 
story in this. I don't know what my least favorite one was. But like the first few all revolved around this guy who is like a fortune teller kind of at this crossroads. Everyone who gets a fortune told by him ends up committing suicide at some point. And then there was like this repressed memory of this other kid and there were all these like psychological things going on but then like was it paranormal was it not which is as we all know is like my favorite trope and then it got scarier and scarier and the images got more and more graphic and I was living for it, honestly. So I'm happy I picked this one up first because this is the cover that intrigued me the most. Let's pick my second read. Hmm, we'll just go with a shorter one, shall we? Smashed is 412 pages. Shiver is 394. Okay, guess we're gonna read Shiver next. Yeah, so if you have trypophobia, which is that like fear of like holes and stuff, I would not recommend this book. I know Books with Chloe was talking about how she's terrified of this one, but like it freaks me out, but it's not like I'm like, it's not the same as my phobia of mice and rats, okay? So yeah, this is gonna be my next one. I think I'm gonna sit on my balcony for a little bit, like literally just sit there. I can't be bothered to bring out my like chair and table and everything, so I'm just gonna sit like crisscross applesauce probably. Start this. I probably won't finish by the time I have to leave for dinner. Wow, I'm so happy that I finished this. Like I said, trigger warnings for suicide, self-harm, gaslighting, emotional manipulation. There's also physical abuse in here. Obviously, there are graphic images. It is a horror, so I'm so glad that my first manga experience was a success. Okay, let's go out to my balcony before it gets dark out because it's super nice out but it got kind of cold so I threw a jacket on but first thing I notice about this one is the difference in art style for sure I'm now on the second story it's it's shiver and it has the the holes um and it's definitely freaking me out I feel like what the f oh that's a big squirrel holy shit <laughs> not me being a whole dog I feel like it's gonna give me a new fear is all I'm saying because I like had to rush through those pages so quickly because those images are a lot they're a lot I don't know I feel like if you have that fear definitely do not read this book or at least skip that story because you will get triggered I'm getting triggered and I don't even I didn't even know I had that fear but now maybe I do, who knows? Oh, another difference is that at the end of the first story, there was this like author commentary section and then there was like a little sketch by Junji Ito and it was like behind the scenes stuff about the story too, so that was pretty cool. I hate this cover, I really do. <laughs> Hi, it has been an endeavor, y'all. It's like 11 p.m. now. <laughs> I just got back from my parents' house. Jack stayed over until like nine, and then I went over to my parents' house to fill out this paperwork for my flu shots. I don't know, but I read a bunch of Shiver while I was there. I'm 181 pages in now. I'm not liking this as much as Love Sickness. I really do think Love Sickness is gonna be my favorite one, even though I know Renee, who's a huge Junji Ito fan, didn't like it as much as the others i don't know we'll see how smash turns out but i'm not liking a lot of the stories i've read so far also trigger warnings for suicide and self-harm in this as well physical abuse and body shaming yeah i'm on to the next story and it's called marionette mansion so puppets which are creepy in general so let's hope for the best here after each story in this one there's an author commentary behind the scenes situation which i actually enjoy one of them was based on a dream one of them had like world war ii elements yeah so like it's cool to see what inspired these crazy stories you know those are my thoughts so far on shiver i'm feeling a three star for this one unless the second half really blows me away don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this in 24 hours because I do want to go to the gym tomorrow at 6 and my 24 hours is up at 8. I'm gonna try to start smashed tonight and I mean I'll probably finish it 
after work. Oh, and on my way to my parents' house, someone definitely like hit and run me. She was next to me the entire time so she could clearly see my car. I wasn't in a blind spot at all, but clearly she was blind and it was dark out. So I guess she just like tried to cut me off or like change lanes, but didn't see me. And I honked my horn so fucking loudly. I almost swerved into the fucking curb. It was, I could have died. That's the bottom line there, but I'm all good. And I didn't report it or anything. I just, it was like 9.30 at that point and I just could not deal with anything like that. And then I, I saw their car and their car was a lot worse than the scratches on my car once I checked. So I don't even feel bad about it. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I just filmed a video, hence the lipstick and whatever. But I'm about to go pick up a package. I have no idea what it is, honestly. So we're gonna find out together. But I am almost done with Shiver, y'all. It's now, we're not doing this in 24 hours, 2 p.m., so whatever. I'm on page 310. At work, I finished the story called Painter, which is about Tomi. I really like that one. That one's my favorite story by far. It was a story about obsession and art, yeah. Loved it. I'm going to pick up this package and prepare myself some orange chicken <laughs> from last night and finish Shiver. And then I'm gonna start Smashed at some point and hopefully finish it before my meeting at five. And during my sprints tonight, I'm gonna start Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I just got this. Wait, why am I saying that? Okay, this is not this vlog, but I just got this from work and it fits the buzzword for this month or buzzword-a-thon. So that's what I'm doing. Just thought I'd update. I'd probably end this vlog before my sprints anyway so i don't know what i'm saying i'm so excited that it's october 1st my tbr is already yelling at me because it knows that i'm not gonna get through all of them i hate myself <laughs> okay got my package i know exactly what it is i ordered it i spent way too much money okay we don't condone fast fashion but sometimes you gotta ball on a budget okay sorry <gasps> I forgot I bought this flannel. Oh my god, I spent more money than I thought. So first thing I got is this flannel that's like color blocked. I hope I got this in a medium. Yes, I did. So it's oversized. Perfect for fall. Half black, half white. Love to see it. Um, excuse me though? Oh no, I just snagged it. We know my aesthetic is bats lately. Come on. I'm so stoked. Oh my god. And I don't have anything this color. So let's hope it doesn't look stupid on me. And then I had to get just a black and white bat one because it's cropped. I'm going to wear this in my Instagram photo today for October 1st vibes. I'm so excited. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And it's actually like really soft and like good quality. Like they are stepping things up over there, you know? And then I got this cute little tank top. I love this color. This has like a flaming heart on it. Hopefully it fits. It looks kind of questionable. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take Instagram pictures now. I'm getting kind of hungry. So I want to stuff my face after I take a cute photo and promote a lesson in vengeance as my October book club pick. I'll catch y'all later. The way I haven't finished Shiver yet, and it is 30 minutes away from my sprints, this is not going well. I got caught up in editing videos, and then I had a meeting. And now I'm stressed because we talked about the holidays, and the holidays always freaking stress me out because holidays in marketing is even more stressful than holidays in real life. <laughs> I want to cry, but I'm going to finish this real quick because I could do this, but I guess I'm not starting rock, paper, scissors on my sprints. I'm going to be finishing Smashed. I barely even like Instagram, so <laughs> leave me out. Too late. I'm so glad too. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm Stop. Stop. You're not even in there. Oh, bottoms up, bitch. Cheers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not the bud. <laughs> The fact that there's a story about a giant caterpillar in this after my caterpillar encounter yesterday, that's fine. I'm just trying to cram for the next five minutes. Naomi's drunk, so I gotta catch up. <laughs> I'm drinking Mike's hard, so tonight's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm excited. Just finished Shiver. I still have like 20 minutes of this sprint left. It did gross me out, and I did have fun reading most 
of it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't like it as much as Love Sickness. I think I'm gonna give this a three. A lot of it was really, really gross. So props to Junji Ito for that. He's king of grossness. <laughs> My favorite story remained being Painter. I really like the fashion model one too. There was this one pimple one that was like the second to last story or something. That was gross. <laughs> and like the one, I think it was called shiver with the holes in the body that was gross too i'm gonna give this one a three i'm gonna start smashed now while we're still on the sprint let's hope this one's at least four stars oh it matches my outfit <laughs> hello hello so last night after my sprints i ended up going to jack's i didn't bring my camera obviously and now i look like this so bear with me <laughs> left jack's this morning and then i went to this local coffee shop not really local to me, but like on my way home. And I just finished Smashed. I just sat there for like an hour and a half. It was really nice. It was really funny because like I'd be looking at these like horrific ass images and like to other people, it looked like I was just calmly reading, you know? <laughs> um, I gave this one three stars and I was talking to Cammie and she was like, I really thought all of them were gonna be five stars for you. See, Love Sickness was four stars because like there were some stories that I wasn't really into and then like these ones I didn't like as much so like it only makes sense to make it a rating lower right I don't know but I really liked how Shiver had the author oh the author commentary after each story because I love getting a glimpse of the minds of authors and where their stories how their stories came into fruition because like especially these stories like they are so out there that it's it just makes you curious you know like how did you even come up with this so that was really cool I was really hoping that this one had author commentary too but it didn't my favorite stories in this one were I don't want to be a ghost and library vision because obviously it involves a library and it was relatable the guy was like you have to put the books right where you found them <laughs> like this is why you don't take my books or whatever and yeah that was my first manga experience wow what a ride i'm definitely gonna pick up more manga soon i was talking to my friend mckay from mckay's book club i was like okay you gotta read a diary of blood for me this month will buddy read it and then he was like only if you read this manga called killing stalking and so i'm gonna be reading that next in terms of manga but for now i'm pretty much mangaed out for like the next couple weeks so i'm excited to read a novel again <laughs> you know overall it was a good time <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video i think i want y'all to put that like creepy crawly green is it a green emoji amoeba looking virus looking emoji just because like all of these were creepy obviously and i'm never going to use that emoji ever again probably so thank you so much for watching hope y'all had a great day stay safe and stay positive always and i'll see y'all in my next video bye